Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and especially to all the younger ladies and gentlemen here this evening. Tonight you are going to experience something that is truly extraordinary. I'm Peter French, a member of the board of the Perlman Music Program Suncoast, and on behalf of the board, I want to thank each of you for arranging busy schedules, especially the young folks who have lots of work to do, to attend this second public concert by the Vinca Quartet. Actually, it might be the third concert. Many of you are familiar with the Perlman Music Program and the contributions it has made to our community in the past six years. Under the guidance and the watchful eyes of Istok and Toby Perlman, this experience has flourished with its intense focus on the education of some of the most gifted young musicians of our time. The artistic and personal experience, the winter residency, changes, it changes lives forever. And the influence of the Perlman Music Program Sun Coast has also grown far beyond the rehearsal rooms and the rehearsal concerts on the USF campus where young artists engage in intensive learning. The rehearsal concerts under the USF tent and the signature concerts in the Opera House have drawn more than 50,000 listeners. Especially young people who have been inspired and no doubt encouraged to contemplate their own dreams of musical excellence. The Educational Outreach Program, which brings you here this evening, was launched in 2009 with the support of the Juilliard School, Columbia University's Teachers College, Toby and Istok Perlman, and the faculty of the Perlman Music Program. This outreach program is led by longtime music educator and Perlman Music Program Suncoast board member Barbara Staten, who's here tonight, and Cindy Balistrieri, who is the former fine arts program specialist at the Sarasota uh, School Board, for the Sarasota School Board. And she serves as our consultant for developing the curriculum-based programming, working hand in hand with quartet member Laura Say and her creative ideas for writing lessons connected with musical concepts, with academic subjects, and the Sunshine State Standards. This year, the program has been expanded to 12 schools in Manatee and Sarasota counties. And we, all of us, are so fortunate to have the Vinca Quartet working in our schools during this two-week period, and we anticipate their return in early January to complete this exceptional program. Now, as an old teacher for some 50 years, you're going to forgive me because with this big a crowd and this many young people, I can never miss a teaching moment, okay? The presence of the Vinca Quartet in our community offers a time to pause and appreciate what artistry of this magnitude means. To do so, I want to reference a fascinating book that young and old should read and enjoy. It is titled Outliers and it is written by Malcolm Gladwell. If you read this book, you will discover why most of the great hockey players are born in January, February, and March. Who knew? You will also find out how a small personal behavioral change dramatically improved the safety record of an international airline. And you'll also find out why the Chinese can calculate numbers faster in their heads than Europeans can. Okay, you wondered about that, but you can find out. The most fascinating chapter is about genius. What defines it and how is it achieved? And Gladwell's examples are Mozart, the Beatles, and Bill Gates. Mozart was a prodigy at three, but not considered a true genius until his 20s. The Beatles left Liverpool for Germany as a Merseyside club band and returned home 
destined for superstardom. Bill Gates accidentally went to a middle school that decided to build a computer lab long before he abandoned Harvard to found Microsoft. What is the common feature in these three stories? Gladwell surmises it is 10,000 hours of intense effort. Mozart worked years before achieving acclaimed stature. The Beatles, when they went to Germany, played seven days a week, 10 hours a day. In, and then they came home. And Bill Gates started writing computer code in the eighth grade. The message is, genius is a combination of talent and ability, plus lots and lots and lots of hard work. Tonight, you are privileged to hear four young people who are well advanced on their 10,000 hour road. They still take lessons from senior colleagues for more than 20 hours a week. And then, alone and together, engage in seemingly endless practice. This is emergent genius, and it has come to play for you tonight, and to educate the sons and the daughters for so many families here in Manatee County. Moreover, I am persuaded that across these two counties, or perhaps in a group of some 400 students at the Nolan Middle School, who I observed yesterday, as they listened to the quartet, engaged in questions and answers, and joined in a participatory musical exercise, that there is someone, someone who may be here tonight, who will be committed to embarking on the trail of genius. Perhaps it will be the young man who asked Laura Say at the end of the program yesterday, how much does a viola cost? Right there, he had decided. That's the instrument he wants to play. That brief exchange between the young student and Miss Say inspires a useful vision of continuous growth of the educational outreach program so that some date when our guest artists are well advanced in their careers on the concert stages across the globe. There are young men and women here in Manatee and Sarasota counties who note on their college applications participated for three or six or nine years in the Perlman Music Educational Outreach Program. That would create an artistic legacy showing the purposes of education at its best. Now, I've got to go back here because I might have missed something. No, I didn't. Okay. So now, it is my profound pleasure to introduce to you the Vinca Quartet, which combines the vibrancy of youth and the maturity of seasoned professionalism to share its passion for chamber music at its finest. They will briefly introduce themselves and tell you what the program is. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the Vinca Quartet. everyone. We're the Vinca Quartet and thank you so much for coming out to see us. It truly is our pleasure to come and play for you this evening. For tonight's program, we'll be playing one of Schubert's monumental last compositions. He wrote um, his string quartet in G major. Um, it is a four movement work and it is possibly one of the Mm, most massive pieces of music in the history of classical music. It spans around 50 minutes, but it is 50 minutes of some of my absolute favorite music of all time. Um, before we start playing, I just wanted to read you an excerpt. Schubert was not much of a writer himself, but he did write one essay throughout the course of his life, and it was a short piece of prose, and we selected a small excerpt for you. 
I wandered into a distant land, and for long, long years I sang songs. When I would sing of love, it turned to pain. And again, when I would sing of pain, it turned to love. And thus, love and pain divided me. Although this excerpt wasn't particularly written for this piece per se, it describes very aptly many, many of Schubert's works. It's incredibly beautiful, and there's so many gorgeous melodies throughout all the movements of the piece, yet there's also this pervasive element of pain or fear that goes throughout as well. Um, represented through major minor keys and alternation and also many, many triplet figures that go for almost the entire 50 minutes through. So without further ado, we hope you enjoy the Schubert G Major Quartet as much as we love playing for you. Thank you so much. And we will have a, if you haven't had enough of us by the end of this concert, we will stick around for a question and answer. So if you have any questions, comments, or answers for us, please stick around. Thank you so much. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
Thank you.